All right. Happy Thursday, boys and girls. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. All right. Let's see. Oh, Mrs. J didn't link it. Okay. I have to find what. Right. Side. I did not. I don't know what side you have it on now. So we'll go through. Is this Sorry. it? Yeah, that, but that's for later. That's like the picture. Good morning, Amaya. So I have the question in my brain. Um, Sorry, I, that's for the end. <laughs> okay, I don't know what page you wanted me on. You don't though. need anything up right now. Okay. Sorry. We'll just do the question in calendar and then those are for um, Got between, it. in between. Okay. Good morning, friends. How's everybody doing today? Avon Elise, are you eating waffles? Yummy. <laughs> French toast? Something yummy. All right, boys and girls, today's question's pretty super cool. I like to think about these kinds of things. It says, if somebody gave you a million dollars, that's like so much money, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. But if somebody gave you a million dollars, what would you buy? What would you buy if someone gave you a million dollars? So today we're going to say bonjour which is hello in French. So bonjour. If somebody gave me a million dollars, this used to be an easier question. I don't know what I would buy. Maybe I pay for my house. <laughs> All right, Bella and Nina, you're next. Unmute yourself. Good morning, ladies. What would you do if someone gave you a million dollars? Oh, first of all, <laughs> are you guys frozen? Okay, I'll come back and tell me. Bracelet. Oh, there you go. Okay, ladies, you want to talk? What if someone gave you a lot of money? What would you buy? You don't know? You guys are quiet today. I'll come back to you. Grace Lynn, your turn. I think when I buy a million dollars, I think I don't, I buy. A lot of stuff. A lot of toys and presents and gifts and a toy mermaid. Cool, I like how you said gifts. That's a really good idea. So bonjour, Grace Lynn. Bonjour. Okay, mute yourself. All right, Clayton, your turn. Bonjour, Clayton. What would you buy if you had a million dollars? Bonjour, Liam. I don't even know how to say that. Okay. What would you do if you had a million dollars, Liam? What would you buy? Well, I'd buy everything I could. Okay. Like of what? Toys, clothes, books? No, buy anything I could. Okay. Good answer. Well, All right, mute yourself. Everything you buy, everything. Okay, good job, Liam. All right, who's next? Dakari, unmute yourself, sweetheart. Whoop, we lost Dakari. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Bonjour, Dakari. Bonjour. What would you buy if you had a million dollars? A toy. 
A book. A book? What kind of book? Not a book? Okay, and talk louder. I didn't hear what you said. A toy. A toy. Good. What kind of toy? Toy. Okay. All right. Mute yourself. Good job, buddy. All right, Miss Hunt. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> if I was a responsible person, I would pay off my student loans and put in the savings. But if I wasn't, I um, would buy a lot of puppies. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to buy a house probably too then. <laughs> That's okay. That's enough money for that. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Hunt. Honesty, you're next, sweetie. Unmute yourself. Good Morning, job, bonjour, Amanda. honesty. Bonjour, honesty. Say bonjour. Thank you. Um. What would you do if you had a lot of money and you could buy anything you wanted? What would you buy? Lamborghini. Can you say it a little louder, sweetie? Lamborghini. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. You can mute yourself down. Gannon, are you going to have a turn today? Unmute yourself. Can you, can you hear me, Gannon? It's almost like his headphones aren't even really on. Gary, touch your nose if you can hear me. Okay. I'll message mom so that she knows. Well, okay. and some headphones don't work with the Chromebooks. We've had a lot of issues with that. So, uh, Rocky, you're next. Unmute yourself, Rocky. Ask me to help you unmute. There we go. Rocky, tap the screen and then tap the button. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Bonjour, Rocky. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what would you do, Rocky, if you had a million dollars? What would you buy? I buy um. Yeah, all the all boarded. Cool. All right. Thank you for sharing, Rocky. All right, I'm going to leave you next. Muted. Ivan Elise, tap the screen. Ivan Elise, unmute. Bonjour. 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 What yeah. would you do if you had a lot of money? What would you buy? A sister Eloda, a puppy Eloda, a big sister Eloda, <laughs> and a Barbie. Wow, that sounds fun. <laughs> and, a, and a book. <laughs> Thank you, Ivana, for sharing. You can mute yourself back, sweetheart. Amaya, your turn, sweetheart. Unmute yourself. Tap the screen and then click on the button. It and then she muted again. There you Hi, go. Hi, Maya. Bonjour. Is your sweatshirt on backwards? Amaya. <laughs> Amaya, do you want to talk to me or not? What would you do if you what would you do if you had a lot of money? What would you buy? Okay, sweetie, you don't have to say. Send me a note later. All right, Miss Adriana, your turn. Bonjour, Adriana. Bonjour. 
What would you do if you had a lot of money, Adriana? What would you buy, sweetheart? My baby sister some toys. <laughs> That's so sweet. So you wouldn't even buy anything for yourself? Yeah. Well, you said for your baby sister, what would you buy for yourself? Hmm. I... Okay, thank you, Adriana. Go ahead and mute. Maverick, good morning, Maverick. You gotta mute, sweetheart, I can't hear you. All right, what do you say? Bonjour. 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 What would you buy, Maverick, if you had all the money in the world? Money? <laughs> no, if you had a lot of money, what would you buy? More Hot Wheels. More Hot Wheels. Okay, good answer. Yeah, I have White Wolves inside. I'm okay, good. cool. Thank you, Maverick. Okay, Alonzo, your turn. Unmute yourself, Alonzo. Bonjour, Alonzo. Hi. What would you buy, Alonzo, if you had a lot of money? Are you listening? Yeah. Yeah. What would you buy? What would you buy? A car. A car? A car? A real car or a car to play with? A real one or a toy one? What? A real one? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> what color would it be? What's your favorite color? White. White? All right. Fancy. Thank you, Alonzo. All right, I need a calendar help. Oh, Ms. Raddick. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Friends. I, if I had a million dollars, I would buy enough cleaning supplies and safety supplies that we would be able to come back to school. Oh, that's so thoughtful, Mrs. Raddick. Good answer. Yeah. You should kiss your brain. That was a really good answer. All I right. might buy a puppy or two, too, but... Mr. Raditz would not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to help me with calendar today who hasn't had a turn yet? Um, All right, Ivana Elise. Unmute, Ivana Elise. Who just came in? Cartier. Oh, Cartier. Good morning, Cartier. Good morning, Cartier. Where'd you go, Ivana Elise? I'm over here. Oh, you are over there. <laughs> You were over here. Now you're over there. <laughs> that was really funny. I was over there the whole time. <laughs> over there the whole time. Miss J isn't even ready today. Normally I have a number out and everything. I don't know. So you're going to have to help me. Are you ready, Evangelis? Ready? Yeah. Okay. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Stay with me. Thursday and there's Friday and Saturday and the week, days of 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 the week. So this is the next party space of the week. And we go up with the uh, Thursday. Very good. Sing and sing about Thursday. Day is Thursday. Day is Thursday. Oh. Day long, long, long. What day is it, Avonalise? Mm -hmm. I would like. Avonalise, what day is it? Okay, yeah. Say Thursday. All right, ready to count the numbers? Ready to count the numbers, Yep. Yes, okay. One. One. Two. Three. Four. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good, Amalie. Is that a 15, Amalie? 15, yeah. Oh, I was holding it in front of your picture on the computer. That doesn't work very well. <laughs> good job. Amalie, do you know the numbers in 15? Yeah, I got a one to five. Good job, sweetie. All right, so today, Amanalise, say today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. October. October. 15th. 15th. The year. 
2020. You're going to be 20. What is it like outside today, Evangeline? Um, me and my mom. Let me put the fuck up, guys. Go look. Go outside. Come here. Tell her what does it look like. Morning time. It's morning time. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining? What's it doing? Um, it's cloudy. It's cloudy. Is it cold outside or warm? You probably haven't been outside yet. Is Do you think it's cold or warm? No, you don't got to go outside. No, you don't have to go. I don't want you to go outside in your shorts, please. It's cold around Cold. Okay, come back. Okay, Evangelise. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so t today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So tomorrow will be. What's tomorrow? Do you know what tomorrow's going to be? Friday. Good girl. Come see what number day of school is. Boy. There's a lot of counting of Annalise. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four. Everybody should be counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Are you counting? Oh, Annalise. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Very good. What's the number 32, Annalise? It got three and a two. Awesome job. <laughs> All right, let's do this pattern. Last thing for you. Where'd you go? You moved again. Okay. Yeah. Ah. We have light, whip, pirate, princess, vampire, Frankenstein, knight, witch, pirate, princess, vampire, Frankenstein. Night witch. What comes after the witch, Evangelist? After the witch. Um, the zombies. No, what is that? What's this guy? A witch. What's this guy? Who's that? Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> pirate. A pirate. Good girl. All right. Well, I was so excited about doing that. I dropped it. So it's fine. Here we go. Here you go. Bye, Rachel. Bye, Thank you for being such a good helper. Woo! All right, Mrs. Rannis, I think I, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Boys and girls, we are going to practice writing today. So get those whiteboards out and your markers or piece of paper and pencil. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen in a second. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, you should see the writing board like we did yesterday. And I can't see you, but Mrs. J is there to help me. So today, I want you to leave a big space right here and we're going to start writing right here so we are going to start with the letter I, I, I. who knows what letter says I, I, I. nose goes um ooh, so many adriana no you got to unmute adriana 
What letter says if, if, if? I. very good. All right. Look All at right. your board. Plain line to grass line and stop. And then make a dot. And our next letter says t t t t t t. Who knows what letter says t t t? Nose goes. Nice writing, friends. Nose goes. Nobody wants to turn? Okay, Graceland. Good job. All right, we're gonna start at the skyline and go down to the grass line and stop and cross at the plane line. Good job. Now, put your markers down because we're going to sound out the word. Ready? Get your pointers ready. We're gonna point to the eye first and say, it, 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 it. Good job, it. Who knows what word it is? It. Maverick? Go ahead, Maverick. It, very good, Maverick. Good job. Oh no, that wasn't Maverick, that was Rocky. Maverick, oh. you gotta unmute. Amaya, honey, please put your shirt on. I can't see you. Thank you. Now we can see you. What's wrong, Maverick? You can't get it unmuted? Ask my, where's mom? Tap the screen. Don't get frustrated, it's okay. Tap the screen and click on this button. I wish we could do this part. I don't know why we can't. It's okay, Maverick, take a deep breath. When mom comes back, then we'll give you a turn, okay? Thumbs up. Well, I think Rocky said it, that it was it. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the beginning of it where we left that space and we're gonna add a letter. So the first letter we're going to say is B, B, B. What letter says B, 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 who knows? Nose goes. Bella? B. Good. <laughs> Skyline to grass line and stop. And go up to the plain line and make a bump. And then put your marker down. Okay, we're gonna get our nice writing. <laughs> we're gonna get our pointers out. If yours looks like mine, you can just look at the screen. Otherwise you can use your board and you're going to point to the B, start with the B and say, B, 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 it, bit, who knows the word, bit. Nose goes. Cartier? No. The word is nice job. Nice job. Okay, don't erase your whole board. Only erase the B. This is pain. <laughs> Good thing yours isn't like this. All right, the next letter we're gonna do, starts with a n. Who knows no, what letter go. says n. Like nut and number. 
and nine. Do you know Amaya? No, okay, I wasn't sure if you were touching your nose. We have sleepy friends today. It's like the same kids. Uh-huh. So go ahead, Gracelyn. And good job. All right, starting at the plane line, you're gonna go down and stop and ride it back up to make a bump. Good job. Then put your markers down and get pointing. All right, we're gonna sound it out together. We know this part says Graceland, You're it. still on, Graceland, so you can do it when it's done, okay? Ready? N it. N it. What's the word? Nick. Good job. All right, friends. Erase the end. Morning, Miles. Our next letter is th, th, th. What letter says? What letter says? Your bunny face letter. Of Annalise? Ah. Good job. All right. You're going to. Put your marker just underneath the skyline. Good job, honey. And ride it up to make a hook and go straight down to the grass line and stop and cross at the plane line. And put your marker down. Let me get help you. All right. When you're ready, point to the F. Ooh, we're not writing that one word. <laughs> ready, Evangelise? You ready to help me find out the word? Yeah. Okay, say it with me. It. 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 What's the word? Um, fit. Fit. Good job. Fit. Nice job. All right, our last letter. Erase your F. Who knows what letter this is? It says mmm. Mmm. Miles, do you want to turn? Okay, unmute. What letter is mmm? Good job. All right, we're going to start at the plane line and go straight down to the grass line and ride it back up to make a bump and a bump. Good job. I just have to do one thing real quick. It's okay, honey. And then... Let me know when you're ready and then you can help me sound it out. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Nice job. All right. Turn it around so you can read it. Point to the M. Say mm it. Mm it. Mm it. What's the word? Mm it. Mm it. Good. The word is mitt. Nice job, boys and girls. All right, you can erase your boards. And I'm going to stop sharing. Your caps are on.
make sure it clicks. You ready for your your picture, Miss J? I can share it. Yes. <laughs> All right. This one. Sorry. Nope, you're good. I have my screen. Yes, that one. Okay. <laughs> I have my screen like really big, and now I can't see it. And I can't make it go away. Go away. There we go. Okay, friends. Today is. Thursday. So what we're going to do today for Thoughtful Thursday is I'm going to read something and you are going to give me a thumbs up if this, what I say, means that somebody's caring. Caring means nice. If I care about you, that means I take good care of you and I love you and I'm nice to you. Okay, so you're going to listen to what I say. If it's caring, thumbs up. If it's not caring or being kind of mean, thumbs down. Okay, you guys ready? All right. <clears throat> Chad turned the television up really loud, even though his mom had a headache. Is that caring or not caring? Not caring. Very good. That's not very nice of Chad. He's not thinking about his mom. He's just thinking about himself. All right, next one. Maggie picked out a special birthday present that she knew her sister would like. Is that caring or not caring? Good job, guys. Next one. <clears throat> Jennifer called her grandmother to invite her to lunch. Is that caring or not caring? And the last one is there were two cookies left and Addie ate them both, not leaving any for Maria. Is that caring or not caring? You are correct. That is not caring. Good job, friends. Okay, Mrs. Guys, you can go to the, on the not, not the math one, but the other one. So <laughs> I'll link it today. I don't know how, how I forgot to do that, but can you good. type? Can you type while it's show? While it's doing this? Nope, but I can, I'll make it smaller. Okay. Well, because I, I put a text box in, so you should be able to like just. Yeah, but it won't work while you're presenting. That's a bummer. Oh, well. Yeah. But give me a minute. <laughs> All right. Let All right, me... Annalise, you get to be my helper again. Let me go back to present so you guys can actually see. Yeah. All right, can you see it? We yeah. can, yes. Okay, so Avon Elise, it says, good morning. Today is what? What day is today? What did you tell me this morning? What's today? Saturday. What's today, Sessler? Did you say it was? Uh, 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 Thursday. 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 Very good. Yay! Thursday. And then it says, is it chilly outside? What do you think, Yvonne Do you think it's chilly outside? Chilly. Yes. Okay. That's why we can't go outside. Very good. All right. Now you're going to help, help me figure out the letters in these words, okay? Yvonne Yeah. Okay. I can see Miss Rab behind there. <laughs> Can you see the picture? Yeah. Okay, what's that what's that gray thing? What is that? A mouse. It's not a mouse. It's something else. No, That's what? like a mouse. A rat. a rat. Okay. What letter does rat start with? R. 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 Very good. Then it says, ah, what letter is that? Ha. No, what letter? No, what letter goes, ah? What letter? Ah. Ah. No. Look at me. I'm on a list. Oh, a cat. What letter goes, ah? Like, A, apple, ah. Okay. What letter is that? Huh? 
A. Yes, very good. Okay, what letter goes? The letter makes. Like Let's see. Notes. Well, well, go. Very good. We might just do one today, Mrs. Raditz. Okay, let's read that one. Ready, Yvonne Elise? Yep. At what is the word? What is the word? Rat. Rat. Good girl. Yeah. All right, Thank you, Mrs. Raditz. <laughs> Put yourself on mute. Put yourself on mute. All right, friends. I, I clicked out of the screen instead of doing what I wanted to do, which is this. Go back to the other one. Sorry. Okay, it says today is Thursday, October 15th, and we have music, music, music. All right, Mr. Reds, thank you. Now, <laughs> for math today, boys and girls, you are going to need crayons and that, that page. Do you see that page right there? It is page number 13. And do you see the brain lifting weights? So I want you to bring your brain and your listening ears, just like that donkey, maybe it's a donkey. I don't know, it was just cute ears. So you're gonna bring crayons and page 13. All right, thank you, Mrs. Raditz. Are you guys ready for a brain break? Who's ready for a brain break? Me! There you, there you all are. Okay, Miss Hunt, do you have to go? I do, have a good day, everybody. You too, bye, Miss Hunt. Bye, Miss Hunt. Thanks for joining us. Okay, boys and girls, today we're, we're going to start with a new one that we haven't done yet. It's called the bear hunt. So when you're, when you're tapping, you're tapping your legs. So if my legs were right here, I'd be going tap, tap, tap on the top of your legs. Okay, you ready? Yes! <laughs> All right. Four. Hey everybody, we're going on a bear hunt. Are you afraid? Can you hear it? A little bit louder. Afraid. Are you afraid? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going, we're going on, on a bear, bear hunt. hunt. Take pictures with my camera. Take pictures with my camera. Open up the doors. Open up the doors. Walk down the road. Walk down the road. Coming to a wheat field. Coming to a wheat field. You can't go under it. Can't go under it. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Have, have to walk through it. Have to walk through it. Got through the wheat field. Got through the wheat field. Coming to a bridge. Coming to, to a bridge. bridge. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Have to walk over it. Have to walk over it. Got over the bridge. Got over the bridge. Coming to a tree. Coming to a tree. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Guess we'll have to climb it. Guess we'll have to climb it. Climb to the top. Climb to the top. Do you see a bear? Do you see a bear? No. No. Let's climb down. Let's climb down. Come 
coming to a river, coming to a river, can't go under it, can't go under it, can't fly over it, can't fly over it. Let's get in the boat. Let's get in the boat. Got across the river. Got across the river. Coming to a cave. Coming to a cave. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Tiptoe inside. Tiptoe inside. It's dark in here. It's dark in here. Is anyone around? Is anyone around? I see two eyes. I see two eyes. And a big furry body. And a big furry body. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. Run! It's a bear! Run! It's a bear! Back to the river. Roll the board across. Run to the tree. Climb up. Climb down. Run to the bridge. Cross it. Run through the wheat field. Run down the road. Open up the door, squeak, and close it. We made it. We made it. Hey, everybody. Let's go on a bear hunt. Are you afraid? I'm not afraid. Thank you. 
when you're talking right that far away but that's okay we need better computers <laughs> all right boys and girls it is time for reading so i'm going to go back to sharing my screen and we will review what you need for math before we hang up all right All right, let's sing our song. It's time to read, it's time to read. Here we are, here we are. We're finding what to read now, sitting in our spots now, ready to read, ready to read. All right. Today, we're gonna talk about, well, you can read um, the three Billy Goats Croft but we're gonna talk about what storybook readers are. So let's see. Ooh, readers use exact character words. What does that mean? It means you can fly like a unicorn? No, it means we can make characters come to life. So when we're reading, we wanna sound like we want to make it sound like we're inside the book. So how do you think the characters feel? Look at this picture. Who can tell me what they think that the picture, how do Mrs. J and I feel in that picture? Nose goes. Clayton? No. Sorry. How do I feel in that picture, Clayton? Good job. You can be a somebody. Anybody else think of a different word than scared? Maverick? Uh, what, honey? Frightened. Frightened? Ooh, that's a really good word. Anybody else have a different word? No other words? Scared or, oh. Sorry, boys and girls, I'm trying to click through you and it moves around. So you are correct. I would be frightened or scared if I was taking a walk in the rainforest and I came up against a wild animal. So. Ooh, let's see what happens. We're gonna read about the pout pout fish. Ready? A doozy of a drowsy made Mrs. Miss Clam yawn. Oh, then a big current whooshed and her pearl was on. How did Miss Pearl feel? Nose goes. How did she feel? I think she feels like half of you do. Ooh, Adriana. Unmute yourself, honey. Okay. How did she feel? If she went, oh, I have a puffer fish book. Okay, but how do you think Mrs. Pearl feels? Or Miss mm. Clam, sorry, when she yawned? Tired. 
Good job. All right, you can meet yourself. Mr. Fish swam forth. Miss Clam, don't weep. I will find your pearl. That's a promise I will keep. Move you guys so I can see the words. He swooped through the water, wishing close to the sand, and he eyed every inch from the busy bottom land. He found a munchy marble where he thought the pearl might be. And then a hideous or a hidden voice whispered, it's further out to sea. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer and his heart flit, fluttered. Mr. Frisch grew grimmer. Does anybody know what grimmer means? Anybody know what grimmer means? No? All right, let's see if we can find out. I'm fast as a seal, sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm scared of the dark. So what does grim mean? If he's scared of the dark, what do you think grim means? Anybody? Maverick Graceland? has his finger. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I was on mute last time. <laughs> I was trying to tell you. <laughs> that means you're scared. Oh, maybe you're scared or frightened. Very good. Good job. I get scared if there's no light in the bathroom and I get Yep, yeah, so maybe you're a little scared of the dark too. That's okay. He kept on searching all around the ocean floor through a reef, through a wreck, swimming far from the shore. Mr. Fish felt a pout pout poach on his hope. Then the whisper from before said, it's down beyond the slope. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flip fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm a scared of the dark. A whirl of wringle worms made a search team swirl and then helped with the hunt for the yawn gone pearl. But nothing was discovered. Mr. Fish felt despair. Then the soft voice whispered in the trench, check there. The trench is a big hole. This is a trench. Do you think he's gonna be happy to go in the trench or a little scared? If you think happy, smile. If you think scared, do a frown. We give it. Mm, I think he might be scared. Let's see. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flip fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sail sailfish, I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm a scared of the dark. I won't keep swimming in the heap deep black. I know I made a promise, but this fish is heading back. Then the whisper, now familiar, whisked away his dread. You can do it, Mr. Fish, her sweet voice said. The Though there wasn't any light, not the smallest slim glimmer, Mr. Fish felt braver. Cheered on by Miss Shimmer. Two are faster than a sailfish, two are stronger than the shark, two are smarter than a dolphin, two are bigger than the dark. So they swam down together, holding fin to fin, when suddenly, Amazingly, light shone in. 
Mr. Fish said, yes. Miss Shimmer shouted, yay. There's Miss Clam's pearl. Hooray, hooray. They smooched Mr. Lantern. Then they smiled as they swam, waving back through the water to a happy Miss Clam. The whole gang gathered feeling glorious and proud and they swam in a circle as they sang out loud. The ocean is wide and the ocean is deep, but friends help friends. That's a promise we keep. We are bigger, yes, bigger, always big, big, bigger than the dark. So I want you to think how did the fish feel at the beginning of the story? If you know Nose Goes, how he felt at the beginning of the story. Rocky? Tap your screen and Good job, thank you. Good job, thank you. All right, anybody else? Amaya? Mrs. J, is it my side or is it everybody? She's frozen. She is, but she's unmuted. Can you hear me, Amaya? Um. How do you think the where'd you go? How do you think the fish felt at the beginning, Maya? Scared. Scared. Good job. Good job, boys and girls. Now think about at the end of the story, how did the fish feel? He wasn't scared anymore. How did he feel? Happy. Happy. Very good. Thank you, Amaya. So when you read a story, you want to make your voice sound like the characters. So when I was reading the parts where he was scared, my voice sounded scared. And when I was reading when he was happy and excited, my voice sounds happy and excited. That's what it means to read like the character. So I hope the next book you read, you can read like the character. And you use some of your stories that we've been reading over and over again to practice that because you can listen and then you can practice reading it. Gracelyn, what do you need? I like that story because it's my favorite story because I really want to find one of those. <laughs> you want a pout pout fish? I do. Yes, it, <laughs> the pout pout fish is one of my favorite characters too. Yeah. He is a character. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, I am going to go back to sharing our screen so we can. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Who can remind us what we need to bring to math class? Nose goes if you remember. Ooh, Adriana, Clayton's ready already. What do you need to bring to math class? Ooh, a book. Your math book and? Some crayons. And crayons, very good. And today you have music with Miss Vodica, so you are going to click on Zoom yeah, like you me at the restaurant. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so today you need to click on Zoom like you did yesterday for Jim or 
for art class or music. It will always be the Zoom link. Okay, thumbs up. You have music at 940. You'll see Mrs. J and I during that time to make sure attendance is taken and if anybody has any need for help. And then you will come back on for math at 1110. Got it? And for work during this time, you have you get to watch your phonemic awareness lesson with Mrs. J. And today I talk about the letter M. So I need to see a sentence with the M words that I tell you in the video. Okay? Thumbs up. And you have an M sort. So we will see you guys back at music time. Bye guys. You can log off. Bye.